I have some news to share. I've decided to move on, so I'll be giving my two weeks today. It's been a very quiet three months, so let me explain what I've been up to. My partner Roman and I have been planning for a big change. Look at all this shit. There's not a corner of the apartment that doesn't have shit in it. The biggest shit is in this room right here. And here. Hey! <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy to think we're here. We're nearly ready to go. Especially since we've been planning on pandemic time where a year feels like a day, but also feels like five years. You know what I mean. Uh, the apartment is really coming along. We've been talking about this for a while and it felt like the right time to make it happen. I've spent a decade working a corporate job since graduating university and it was beginning to feel soul sucking. I enjoyed my role and the company and was very grateful to be able to work remotely through the pandemic. But I noticed that dreading Mondays and living for the weekend was a cycle I felt stuck in. The nine to five routine made me lean into stability and comfort and away from anything that felt new or scary. Being in my 30s meant I had to settle down, buy a house, and become a parent, right? Those are the milestones society tells us we need to aim for. Work, save money, buy a house, and then keep working so eventually you can pay off that house and be free. I need another extension on my mortgage payments. I understand that, Mr. Simpson, but according to our computer, your credit history is not good. I'm sorry, but if you don't come up with that money by tomorrow, the bank is going to take your house. All right, you'll get your money. If that's what makes you happy and aligns with your personal goals, that's great. But the thought of sinking my money into a home and relinquishing any potential freedom made me question whether that was what I wanted to do. My gut was telling me I wouldn't feel settled unless I did something for myself and actually lived. Where was that bold, adventurous risk taker who was always pushing herself to try new things? I was a fearless child, always trying to keep up with my big brother. Even into adulthood, I looked for new activities to try. But now, now I felt too comfortable, stuck. I had an urge to get out of my routine and do something different. I needed a change. Being stuck at home in lockdown for a year naturally forced me to think about what was truly important to me. How do I want to spend my precious time on this earth and what do I want to achieve in life? The same thoughts kept circling in my brain. How can Thank I live you. with less? And goodbye. Yeah. How can I live freely? Yeah. How can I push myself out of my comfort zone and grow? I've always wanted to take a sabbatical to explore, live and learn. But to be honest, doing it on my own felt too daunting. I know solo travel is a growth experience of its own, but as an extrovert, I always felt I'd be too lonely without a person who intimately knew me, someone I could lean on for support. Go ahead, call me needy, I am. So fast forward to Roman now in the picture as my partner in crime. We both had a deep desire to live freely and challenge ourselves. And what better way to do this than by going on a life-changing adventure? We're going on a road trip. We decided to buy an SUV. This is our car. This is heckin' nice. Oh, oh there yeah. We go. Yeah, we need that open. Quit our jobs. So I'll be giving my two weeks today. And to end our lease to dive into nature and explore the wonder of our homeland, Canada. The plan is to travel across the West Coast while living out of our new home, our 2021 Toyota 4Runner. Are we coming back to Toronto? Maybe, but we want to keep our options open. As we're getting closer to our departure date, I'm starting to feel more anxious about losing my creature comforts. Roman and I are not avid campers. I don't know where it puts up. We're two city slickers two outdoor living amateurs who are just gonna do it and learn along the way. So yeah, I'm nervous. But it's exciting to learn new skills and prove to myself I can live free. Like, like it's, it's annoying that you can't sit up. Yeah. It's a sleeping situation. It's like, it's simply a coffin. <laughs> Very expensive coffin. Yeah, it is. And that's what I'm looking forward to. 
Of course, on top of all the amazing places we'll go and incredible things we'll see. So this channel's taking a bit of a turn down a side road, and I hope you join for the ride. Okay, let me let me imagine I have to go pee in the middle of the night. It's gonna be. Yeah, you have to shit. Yo, I guess like I feel. this is like where shrimping comes in handy. Eh? Yeah. Like forward shrimp. Yeah. And then I gotta go. So I gotta have my pee device handy, and then I just go. Just in there, in the front seat, like an yeah. animal. But you're gonna be peeing right on Ezra's face. Oh fuck! <laughs> okay, I'll go this way. But if one of us farts in here, it's game over. <laughs> it like hot boxes the whole car. This is fine though. This is very cozy. 